light and low light the rocks. We're recording. Mm -hmm. So I've taken a bit of um, burnt sienna, some hooker's green, some ultramarine, some violet, okay, uh, making a, a, a real nice dark color here. And I don't very often do this, but I'm adding black as well. Because I want this to be nice and dark, but I don't want it to be black and flat, okay. So all I'm gonna do in here now, I'm gonna put some low lights in, okay. So I'm looking where my light source is, and I'm thinking, okay, down in here might be a real nice strong dark in here. I might see a lot of darker values down through there, okay? Just to give my rocks a little bit more substance and three-dimensionality to them. So on this side here, especially around the bottom, it's gonna be dark. In here, through there, it'd be dark. Just gonna soften that down, just to kind of give them some three-dimensionality to them. So, so wherever you think there'll be a, like a highlight, you wanna put a dark next to it. Highlight there, there'll be a dark next to it. Just basically carving the rocks so they look a bit more three-dimensional, especially in the foreground here, okay? Make sense? So here, anything with a highlight, put a shadow next to it. Anywhere it's in grass here, be a nice dark. Just define it up a little bit. Especially in, the, in these front rocks, anything on the back side of the, the light source would be dark. So one through here, one through there, be dark. Just to really define it up a little bit. So we've put plenty of highlights on, but now just kind of thinking about all the cracks and little ravines that's going on inside the rock. Just to kind of define it up a little bit. Especially as I say, when it gets closer to you, you're gonna see all those details here. So I need to put a darker shadow on the bottom of these rocks here, definitely darker side here. Okay, that's helping to define it up a little bit. And then you can do the same then with the um, with the highlights. I was doing the highlights earlier on with, I was just stroking parts of my rocks here just to bring them back up a little bit because they were getting a little bit too, um, too dull, too gray. So you just basically playing with the highlights and shadows here now. So through here might be a shadow and it just might fall back that way a little bit it's not catching the light okay and like with the tree here since I've got this dark color here this tree is quite close to me so I might just want to drop in a darker shadow on this side of the tree just to define it up a little bit and certainly this one's already nice and dark but if that's a root it's gonna have this nice contrast there Okay, just to find up the trees a little bit. That's going off a bit too far, but this one will be a bit more defined. Okay. Just to try and give it some three dimensionality here. Okay.